Just five months ago, knocking on doors, trying to get my foot in the door of Laguna Beach real estate, my legs started shivering, but I wasn't nervous. My head started buzzing, but I wasn't high. My spine was tingling and my body buckled. I collapsed down their stairs and I knew my life, my beliefs and my behaviors had to change. My greatest sense of fulfillment comes when I show up for others in their time of need. The big question I'm faced with, can I serve myself in the same way I serve others? I was born in pain with a dysfunctional heart, a condition called sick sinus syndrome, common for heart diseased people over 70 years old, but not newborn infants. At 12 years old, my cardiologist implanted my heart pacemaker machine, but I still was faced with a bigger problem, the one that collapsed me on that doorstep five months ago. As a child with a slow heart, I discovered that adrenaline pumped my heart faster, which is how I ultimately found boxing and in the summer of 2003, at age 16, my boxing opponent lost his emotional self-control, picked me up and body slammed me on the cement, breaking my spinal discs, and I was paralyzed for a few seconds. In this moment, my life irreversibly changed. I went from star athlete to physically disabled in a blink of an eye. I've had excruciating back pain intermittently each hour, every hour for the past 20 years. My chronic pain led to chronic depression, anxiety, paranoia, and three suicide attempts. My diagnosis from a long list of hard to pronounce medical terms plainly translates according to my surgeons. Hans, your, your spine is collapsing. In the face of such challenges, where I really found purpose was in supporting my grandparents in their final years of their life. We had beautiful, laughter-filled moments, cooking together, and eventually walking them in wheelchairs uh, in hospice and being there in their passing. Instead of wallowing in the self-pity of my pain, basically I sub I found that supporting others in their time of need is what gave me this sense of fulfillment and purpose. My spine injury was a mess and my pain was so excruciating that I actually became dependent on opioid, uh, prescribed opioid, opioid narcotics, which eventually um, had me become a zombie. Depressed, numb, organs failing, bipolar, reckless, a mess. I became like an opiate addict. After five years of this numbed hell, I attempted a spine surgery in 2008, which failed to fix my structural disc problems. It was getting hopeless and the narcotics continued to eat away at my soul until something unexpected happened. I witnessed a family someone close to a family member die of an overdose on Oxycontin. And the same medicine doctors were prescribing me the same medicine that led to his death. It was then that I vowed to save my soul. I dumped my prescription painkillers during the worst health withdrawals and I turned to the light of holistic medicine to try a different way. I've since come to understand my body's needs and the nuances of holistic therapies and the cutting edge of ancient technology. So for 15 years, through varying levels of pain, I've managed to live a productive life generally, pursuing a career in real estate, chasing my dreams of acting in Hollywood, and marrying my soulmate. But with my back still broken, the debilitating pain kept returning. I lost my business, I lost my, bar my marriage, and I lost my dream simultaneously and I spent a lot of my family's savings for the sake of my health. The good news is I continue to witness extraordinary synchronicities, miracles, especially where I live in Laguna Beach, 
I've observed the power of unity and working as a community to solve seemingly impossible problems. God willing, as a community, we can also solve my problem. I'm leaning into this edge, which is asking for help. Can I please count on your support? I need your help. I'm asking you now. I need help. I'm asking for your help. I need your, both, your, your help both emotionally and financially. In my time of need, I kindly ask that you show up for me as much as you are able to. After consulting four surgeons and 10 regenerative medicine doctors, we have a rehab plan which will chiropractically correct my spine, reinforce it with kinesiology muscle retraining, and solidify these improvements with systemic regenerative stem cell therapy. I tend to translate all this vast knowledge into practical tools and present them in a way people can understand as simply as possible. God willing, we'll raise enough funds to implement this plan. And like any broken bone that heals, I will heal stronger too. I'm committing my 100% effort to this plan. That includes exhaustively, as much as I can, do my best to document my progress the elements of this entire rehabilitation treatment, keeping you, my community, updated along the way. Healing my body will return your investment 100 times over because we are energetically connected in this way and I'm already grateful. And I am fully to intend a, a rich, fulfilling, long life to spread love far beyond this beautiful little beach city. I know we can do that. And I want to do that. So please consider helping me save my life. Raising our goal of $107,000 will pay for all of the out-of-pocket cost of treatments and the debts my mom has taken upon my behalf to get the treatments we have tried as of recently. Every dollar of financial donation, every text or email of our campaign to your friends, and every share of my GoFundMe campaign will make a meaningful difference. So, thank you. Thank you for showing up for me. Thank you to the doctors who have collaborated to craft this plan. And thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mama Bear. I'm looking forward to creating a better life with you together into the future ahead.